Ken Corla, uh, I think the wording of the statutory instrument that's before us for discussion here today uh, is at best ham-fisted in the approach that was taken in relation to it. I believe that the government should withdraw forthwith this particular statutory instrument uh, and redraft it and bring it back uh, before the House uh, because I think it is important uh, that we have the support of the public and communities across the country and I don't think there's any support uh, for this particular drafted uh, stat statutory instrument. Having said that, the reason that we had to bring forward legislation last week and why this statutory instrument itself was drafted is because we have a small handful of people who are trying not just to circumvent the liquor laws in this country as set out as part of COVID-19, but also to circumvent the laws in order to actually um, threaten the lives of people across this country in their own communities where those premises operate. And because of a small handful of proprietors, we're left in the situation where, unfortunately, we have to bring forward uh, draconian legislation. But as I say, I think this particular statutory instrument needs to be withdrawn and needs to be withdrawn uh, forthwith. Having said all that, Karen Corla, I think there has been a, an approach by government uh, in relation to the pubs in this country, uh, which in its most benign definition uh, could be described as being hostile uh, to pubs. And I'll give you four examples of, of why I make that point. First of all, there has been a blind eye uh, turned to the issue of house parties in this country. On the 19th of March, I raised that specific issue here uh, in this House. Uh, and I cautioned that there was a serious risk uh, of infection associated with house parties and that it would become a significant problem unless the Gardaí had the tools to actually uh, ensure that they could be shut down. And I raised that specifically with the Minister for Health, uh, Simon Harris, uh, at that time. And it's there in black and white on the Dáil record, he assured the House that his officials were satisfied that the Gardaí had the powers within the legislation that was being provided uh, to them to curb the issue of house parties. We now find not only had the Gardaí not the tools to curb house parties, they had the tools to curb uh, breaches of the legislation in public houses uh, or uh, in restaurants. And if we look at the latest figures in terms of the outbreaks uh, of COVID-19 across this country, five of them are in pubs or associated with pubs. Five are associated with restaurants and 1,904 are associated with private homes. Some of those, sadly, Las Cancorla or Cancorla are house parties and associated with house parties. So, while we're bringing in draconian legislation in relation to public houses, why are we not addressing the issue of house parties, which has been a consistent problem for a number of months? The second reason why I believe pubs are being discriminated against is the temporary wage subsidy scheme, which ceased on the 31st of August. And I understand the argument made by the Minister for Finance that, you know, we were uh, moving away from uh, the subsidy scheme to the employment wage subsidy, um, which would support uh, employees to the tune of €203 Euro a week. But that was based on businesses having income coming in. Of course, public houses are closed. They have no income coming in. So the temporary wage subsidy scheme should never have been ceased for businesses that were not trading. We have a situation now where the employees uh, of pubs across this country, who were in receipt of €412 Euro a week up to now, are only going to get 203 from now on because publicans do not have the resources to pay them. So why were they discriminated against? The third example of it, uh, Cancorla, was the Restart Grant. And businesses that had already opened could apply for 
uh, the restart grant and if you had a rates bill of less than €2,000 in uh, 2019, uh, you could uh, draw down a minimum payment of €2,000 in restart grant, a very welcome development. And then it was incrementally up based on that. If you had €3,000 of a rates bill, you could get uh, €3,000 of a restart grant. But of course, publicans couldn't apply for the restart grant because they weren't restarting. They were waiting to actually open up their premises. So now they can apply for the Restart Plus grant. But there is a cap put on that. So for someone that applied for, had a rates bill of less than €2,000 and applied for the, the Restart grant, they can now apply for an additional grant of up to four, of a further €4,000, a total of €6,000 of a grant they can get. But a publican can only get €4,000. They can't get the initial payment. And if you go up on the increments, it's the same thing up along. Again, publicans, because they weren't trading, are being discriminated against. There should have been a clause in there to allow them get the second uh, bite at it, the same as every other business. And the, third, the fourth point, uh, Cancorla, is that the trading online voucher scheme a 90% grant for businesses to start trading online or to enhance uh, their online uh, trading presence is not available in the hospitality sector. Now, uh, Minister Fian, as you know well, uh, in our county and many other counties across the country, many, many businesses now uh, are using, particularly restaurants, you have to book your, your table online through the use of an app. Uh, the same will happen uh, in relation to pubs, but yet they are not uh, eligible for the trading online voucher to actually uh, develop that app. Every other business is, but they are not eligible for it. So there's four prime examples of schemes that have been brought in that have not taken into account the premises and businesses that are forcibly remaining shut because of a government decision. And they're being discriminated against. So I'd ask you, Minister, not just to withdraw this existing statutory instrument, to redraft it, but to look at those four other examples of where public houses and businesses that are forced to be closed at the moment are being blatantly discriminated against at present and overturn those four decisions. Thank you.